Hey guys, I wanted to show you this grill. We normally wasn't going to buy this. This, uh, as seen on TV, as it says. up in this corner. <laughs> I don't know if these are always a good buy or not, but Sue saw this and it was what, $99? On Amazon. On Amazon. And she said, oh, that'd be kind of nice, you know, and this, I guess it has a griddle on it. You can, uh, uh, you know, do pancakes or whatever you want. And she thought about it, ah, it'd be all right. And then you know if you use it, but she was looking through this and she found this on Target. For thirty nine ninety nine, how could you pass that up? So she decided, hey, I'll I'll do the thirty nine ninety nine. We might be able to use this. And you, here's a little. It shows you doing some steaks. Boy, that sounds good. The steaks would be all wonderful. But it's a reversible gr griddle plate and reversible grill. They call it a Power X. It has uh, rapid heating up to four hundred degrees. Precision temperature control for perfect doneness. Non-stick coating. Easy to clean. It says $50 in free meat. Trustedbutcher.com. Hmm, I have to check that out. The griddle is 11 by 15.5. So, nice size grill. So, we're going to open this up. Take a look at it. Oh, they're showing you some other stuff over here. Where you can do... The griddle great reverses to flat plates. So I can do like pancakes. There's another thing for meat, high ridge. Make the marks. You know, everybody likes those grill marks. And it has a temperature control. So here is the deal. They just, and the cool thing, she ordered that yesterday afternoon, overnight. Uh, and I get, this came from Target. So we're going to check it out. Yeah, hey, as I got ready to open it, I didn't notice one thing here. See this tape across the top? Looks like possibly it had been reopened. So, first clue, we'll see. Maybe it's maybe it had been opened before. All right, as we pulled it out of the box, I tell you, at this point, everything looks wrapped new. So, you know, maybe this isn't a pre-opened item, but it, because it don't look it, you know? So I thought I'd point that out. All right, here's the pieces that it comes in. I took it, just took it out of the box. It was packed pretty nicely. Looks like you've got a base piece here. This looks like a drip pan that goes down in there. And this is the griddle itself. So basically, let's just see if we can, that goes down in there like so. That catches all your drips and stuff so you don't make a mess. And then this piece here at the top, it looks like it has now, I plug it one end, and the other end goes in here. This might be a little difficult, but it's hard to film. And the base, it sits down in there like that. This plugs into the end with a temperature control. So there's basically how it is. There's no lid or nothing on it. It's just a plain type of grill, which would be nice. You know, we, we you thought we used to have one of these, just a flat grill, but I, we didn't find it, so... We got one now. We're going to put it together. I think I'm going to throw some chicken breasts. Try cooking some of them on and see how it goes. All right, this is the uh, unit. It's actually, I wanted to show it to you here. It's plastic. Pretty solid, but you know, and then this is metal here. This is like a metal air which is in Pyro XL. Then it has this, uh, this drip plate. Hey, this is all metal. And it just simply sets down in the unit like that. Now it gets all your drippity doo -dahs, and that way you're not making a mess. This is the griddle itself. Now one end's nothing in it, but this end is where the plug plugs into. And again, it'll set really pretty easily right down in there. Now that's, you want to do a griddle part. Say you want to do pancakes or something, all you got to do is flip it over 
and you've got a flat griddle surface. It looks like it's Teflon coated. This here is the unit with your different temperatures on it that you can set your temperatures all the way from off up to, uh, it says it goes up to 400 degrees, which is enough. And it just around here, like these typical units, it just plugs in here, plug it in the wall, we're ready to go. So it's really pretty simple setup. So there it is, this is the unit. Again, we're gonna cook some chicken breast. Try that and see how it works out. Well, we're back out here at the grill. We're gonna see how this thing cooks. We got some chicken breasts. We seasoned them up. Sue seasons hers a lot lighter than I do. I like spicy food, so I put some uh, black beans on it. So we got this set at 350. There's a light on that thing. The light was red now, it'll turn green or go off when it's done. Probably go off, but there's the grill. I can feel it. It's getting nice and warm. Now, I could put grill marks on my hand, but it might not be a good idea on. So we'll come back here when we get them put, put on the grill. All right, the light went off now. And so I'm gonna put a little cooking, just a little cooking spray on it. Get the right direction. All right, I just sprayed a little bit. Here's our chicken. Let's add our chicken. It's 350 degrees. I wonder how... Uh, hope it don't stick. Now these are the other two. So there they are. The chicken is in place i have a feeling they're going to stick a little bit i just i think we'll see how it goes but i bet they stick we'll come back okay we're uh, here we're going to see how they go it's been six minutes let's flip them over here well it didn't stick much but it's very very it's got very dark marks on it which is okay now you might go a little bit less than that if you don't like it so dark but that's not bad I don't think that's bad. So we're going to let it go for about another five, six minutes. And then it should be done. That'd be what, a total of like 12 minutes. We'll see how it comes. Well, guys, we've tried several different things here on the griddle. And uh, it's not really what you'd think. It's no Blackstone, <laughs> that's for sure. I, I'll point out some of the problems. The, the last thing we made was this morning, we made some fried potatoes. The problem, it doesn't stick. I'll give you that. It doesn't stick. You can see with the leftover crumbs. What happens, even fried potatoes, if you look down in here, so much stuff falls down these large holes here. I think it's down inside. It cooks well. If you are doing a pancake on here, that would work good. If he was doing a, on like on the other side, it has those ridges on it to do meat. Anything that if you can pick it up with the thongs, you know. But if you're in here with the loose things, like the fried potatoes, pretty good size. I thought they were good. But, you know, crumbs come off. When you go to do this, it's so nonstick, they go whoosh, right off the end and they're gone. <laughs> you know, so that part, not so well. Now, I did some... Uh, a pork loin cut it in slices there big slices and it was fine take tongs turn it over in the tongs that worked out really really good i uh, did some chicken showed you earlier the uh, chicken turned over real real nice but uh, some anything loose i tried some chopped up uh peppers onions and shrimp on here that just was all over the place you know where the blackstone has this nice little ledge that comes around here like so that sticks up this gives you a shield so everything don't go flying off now this was only 39 dollars i have a feeling this originally was a lot more money than 39 dollars but it probably had a few bad reviews because of uh things like this it'll i said it'll work on big stuff you know if you got a chunk of meat or something yeah it'll work 
fine on that. If you're doing a hamburger, it'll work fine on that. I think you'd be fine with an egg. It might go sliding across there on it. So depends on different things. We've only tried it on a few and uh, a few things work uh, okay. And flipping it over is cool with the grid marks on the side is pretty neat. For $39, it's it's not a bad deal. I mean, if you're looking for just a flat griddle, uh, I don't know how if they're available, if this is a closeout, if this is a regular price. $39 is pretty good price on it. We got this from uh, Target. Sue's seen that. We've seen another one similar to this, a little different. They call it smokeless. It's a little bit different, but it's kind of the same. So, anyway, guys, would I recommend it? Well, if you just want a little quick little griddle for the price, yeah, I'd, I'd get it for the price. It was well worth it, but it has its downfalls. So, hey, guys, I appreciate you watching. We'll see you guys next time.